Hi and welcome to the Freelance Channel. My name is Florante and in today's video, we're going to talk about Globe's prepaid eSIM. Now, if you're wondering what an eSIM is, it simply is embedded SIM card. So, it functions and works pretty much the same as a regular or a physical SIM card. The only difference or the main difference is that this one is just digital. It's a digital version of a SIM card that is connected or embedded to your device itself. All right, so before we proceed with the steps, let us first talk about the requirements. What are the requirements for you to be able to avail or to be able to use an eSIM? So the first requirement is, of course, you need to have an eSIM compatible device. I do have a list of different devices that support or have eSIM compatibility. So be sure to check the description. And if you're planning to get a new device or a new phone and would like to have eSIM, then be sure to check that list in the description. Since we're going to set up Globe's prepaid eSIM, what you also need to do is to make sure that you have Globe One app. So if you don't have it on your phone yet, make sure to download Globe One app. And also you have to make sure to check if your device is locked to a specific provider. Aside from that, you also need to have uh, either a debit card or a credit card or a Gcash account. Uh, you need to have at least 99 pesos in your account because we're going to purchase an eSIM and the price is 99 pesos and also make sure that you have an active email address and finally of course you need to have a, an internet connection since the activation will be done via the internet all right so if you have all those requirements tick you have everything set and ready let's go ahead and proceed with the steps on how to get your prepaid eSIM from Globe. So first thing that you need to do is to open the Globe One app. You just have to click on Life Essentials. So click on that uh, button. Okay, so from here, under Life Essentials, look for prepaid eSIM. So that's on the bottom right. Just tap on prepaid eSIM. So check phone compatibility and stuff like that. So that's what we have discussed earlier. Go ahead and tap get eSIM. So just go ahead and click or tap continue. Okay, so here you will have to provide your email address. So this is a required field. So you have to make sure that you fill it out and make sure that you have access to this email address tap on select payment method or just tap on whichever of those options you're going to use so for me i'm going to make use of gcash you will see here the total amount is 99 only so i'll go ahead and tap purchase eSIM. Okay, so from here, you will have to provide, of course, your login information for your Gcash. I'll just go ahead and skip. You will have to provide the authentication code, the six-digit authentication code that was sent to your registered mobile number. So tap next, and then your uh, M-PIN, your Gcash M-PIN. And once you have that, just tap pay 99 all right so now we have successfully purchased a globe prepaid eSIM now the details for this eSIM will be sent to the email address so what I'm going to do now is I'll go to the email account that I have used to register and here in my inbox you will see that the details are already in my inbox so I'll go ahead and open that one 
Okay, so the important part here is this QR code. So this is the one that we're going to need to be able to install it to our device. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do is to go to the settings on our mobile phone. So I'll go to the settings and from here what I need to do is to tap on cellular and from the cellular window you will see here add eSIM. So I'll just go ahead and tap add eSIM. For us to set this up, what we need to do is to use the QR code that was provided in our email. So I'll go ahead and tap use QR code. And I'll go ahead and scan that QR code that we receive. So the next step is to activate the SIM. So let's go ahead, I'll tap continue. All right, so the cellular setup is now complete. So I'll just go ahead and tap done. From here, let me first change the cellular plan label, so the name. So I'll have primary and for the eSIM, I'll just have a custom label for that one. I'll call it eSIM. Then tap done. Okay, so I do have my two plans. The primary, which is the postpaid, and the prepaid, which is the eSIM, is the one that's labeled eSIM. So I'll go ahead and tap continue. All right, so uh, from this point, this will be for choosing on what default number will be used when making phone calls and when sending messages. So since I'm intending to make use of eSIM just for uh, two-step verification, I will make use of primary for the default line for calls and text messages. Messages in FaceTime again, primary will be my default. And for cellular data, I will also set primary as my default for this one. Now, there is an option to allow cellular data switching, which means if, for example, um, my primary account no longer has a credit, it can automatically switch to my eSIM. Or if, for example, I have exceeded my postpaid plans allocation, then it will automatically switch to my eSIM. So if you're going to toggle that one, that is what's going to happen. So it will just make switching uh, more seamless so you wouldn't have to go and switch manually. So those are the settings that you will just have to configure after you have activated your SIM card or your eSIM. That's it with our tutorial for today on how to set up Globe prepaid eSIM and how you can activate it on your device. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comments and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one